Hello everybody, my name is Leonardo Barilaro and I am a pianist, a composer and aerospace engineer. Now we will continue with our dive inside of a beautiful music of 32 variations in C minor by Ludwig van Beethoven. After the overview I shared with you in the previous episode, now I will go more in detail in the analysis of the macro groups in which the variations can be divided. So let's start with the first block. The main feature is the use of arpeggios for the right hand, left hand and for both hands and the VCs for the first three variations. Variation number three, and we go to the second block of variation four, five, and six with an increasing power inside. Variation number five. Till arriving in variation number six to this strong explosion. block of two variations, number seven and number eight, there is the left hand with this pattern. In variation number seven, the right hand has descending octaves. Variation number eight, there is an opposite direction of the right hand. And so on. Following blocks of other three variations, number nine, ten and eleven, starts in a very smooth way where Beethoven is a master in alternating explosions and very introspective uh, thoughts. After this, there is again a variation with a very strong impact, where first the left hand has an unstoppable flow, and later the same type of flow goes in variation number 11 to the right hand. Variation number 11. middle section of this beautiful masterpiece where we are in C major. The theme appears again 
and for five variations it's developed and this is the central macro group. And we go to variation number 14, where this uh, peaceful uh, mood uh, doubled in thirds. In variation number 15, uh, uh, we have octaves again. And uh, the pattern becomes more intricate in the following one, following one, 16. When this variation finishes, we go again in C minor. And in a very subtle way, Beethoven prepares for another explosion in this way. Here we arrive in the middle of the variations, even though this is number 18. And this variation is really powerful with very strong scales. It requires a good technique, a good fingering to find the right fingers for us. We have to go out from usual schemes and it is really a turning point leading to the rest of the variations. Now, for the following four variations from 19 till 22, we stay in a storm in a tumultuous sea. Number 20. And the mirrored twin, number 21. Still having octaves on both ends for number 22. And we have another macro group where the atmosphere becomes again more quiet. Disclaimer, the sustain pedal has not to be improvised and I strongly recommend to write exactly every point in which you want to use it. Also to not lose the drawing of the different sentences.
Also here you can clearly recognize uh, the Chacon-like uh, pattern of the bass. Leading to the following variation. That develops in an even more, uh, let's say, dramatic one. And for 26 and 27 we have again a strong explosion. Twenty-seven. And so on. Now here we are going towards the end of these variations. And we have again a little bit of quiet. With a melody that is on the right hand, it has a strong cantabile, is a, a melody that we can imagine played by violin. with the last part played by cello. Variation number 29, there is again a storm-like effect. And before arriving to the end, variation number 30 is very meditative, very introspective, and it is the last moment of peace before starting the last run, the last rush, leading towards the very end. As I already mentioned, variation number 31 see the theme appearing in its original pattern, but doubled in octaves. There is this tumultuous pattern of a left hand. And this leads to the last extended variation number 32, which goes out from the structure of eight bars and it develops one last time the main theme. In this variation, a lot of things happen. There is this beautiful moment, for example. And we go to the very final section when once again Beethoven put on our face his feelings and he does this in a very disciplined and structured way.
that's all I have for today. I hope uh, I inspired in you a big love for this uh, amazing music. I suggest you to dedicate a lot of time in diving into it because uh, it isn't something that can be grasped in uh, one second. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, hit the like button and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Let me know in the comments down below what do you think about uh, these amazing notes and see you to the next episode.